Hello? Yeah, uh, in this video I want to try to use um, the R package to find a fit uh, for plotting odds ratios in the logistic regression uh, setting. So first writing the data set, uh, you can see all these uh, variables, uh, most uh, age, alcohol, tobacco, cancer, uh, and patients, uh, they are integers. Um, and uh, we need to convert uh, some of them into factors in order to plot the odds ratio. Okay. First, let's load the library final fit uh, and convert age, alcohol, tobacco, cancer as factors. And we can convert a patient as uh, numeric. I'll take another look at the structure of the data set. Um, you know, has converted uh, as we desire. So all these uh, conversion of data types are uh, for preparing the data for this uh, um, final fit uh, function called OR plot function. So you can see we define explanatory uh, variables as age, alcohol, tobacco patients, and then the dependent is cancer. And now we use this uh, uh, data, then going to OR plot function, dependent exploratory. Um, you can see on the right hand side, it uh, shows the um, odds ratio, the dependent variable is the OR, uh, is cancer, so odds ratio 95% OR, and then age is the one, two, three, four, five, six categories. One is the reference, uh, so it's right there. Uh, on the straight line is uh, odds ratio equal to one. And you can see uh, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, none of them are statistically significant, uh, so because their intervals uh, like all like cross uh, the the vertical line for odds ratio equal to one. Similarly for alcohol, uh, one, two, three, four, um, they're also not significant. Um, but you can see uh, for age, the ORs uh, kind of, uh, um, yeah, I think, uh, at beginning going up and then it's going down, right? So, um, and then for the alcohol, uh, it's uh, all, well, always going down. Uh, for tobacco, um, it's also the odds ratio is going down and uh, category three and four are significantly different uh, compared to the reference level. And uh, for patients, the odds ratio is uh, 0 0.73, uh, and the 95% confidence interval is uh, very narrow, um, and P is very small, uh, and we don't see the kind of the vertical line for the confidence interval. It's just a big uh, black uh, square there. So this is uh, not a very high quality odds ratio plot. I'm disappointed. <laughs> at the final fit package. Um, but anyway, uh, if we uh, want to double check, uh, because I see the for patients, it looked like there's a negative sign there, but I'm sure the odds ratio would not be negative. So let's uh, fit the model. And okay, the beta for patients is negative uh, 0 0.3194. So if we exponentiate that, the odds ratio should be 0 0.7265. So that should be 0 0.73. That's not a negative sign. I don't know why it looks like that. But uh, OK, uh, yeah, here it is. Uh, this is uh, the odds ratio plot generated by using the OR plot function in our package uh, final fit. Uh, and by the way, the final fit package is very rich. It has uh, many functions to generate outputs, including tables and plots for uh, different types of regression models, uh, from uh, logistic regression to survival models, or even to linear mix models. So check it out.
Thank you.